Hi everyone, my name is Jigasa. I'm the founder of Bath Candy Co. and you're watching me. Uh, my dream was to create products, blends of things uh, which were sourced from Mother Earth that could have healing powers as well as could be integrated into uh, the modern lifestyle. And I wouldn't say it was a dream, I think it still is. It started with the journey of uh, self-love and self-healing, overcoming my own fears, my own body. So that motivated me to then look out and see how many other people were going through the same, especially women and um, their journey with self-love and self-healing. And so I decided to create um, a wellness um, brand. My journey has is going to be till the day I die because I, I just, I think that filling each day with a purpose is what we are here for and um, that's what I like to do. I think I'm uh, extremely blessed to have a very supportive family. Initially, I did start it when I was 18 years old where I was making videos on um, mental health awareness and uh, DIY projects which could help people and I was also selling products which were that time made at my own house. Um, and uh, everybody around me thought it was just a hobby and uh, unfortunately even now there's always the talk of uh, hey so why don't you just get a job that is more secure why don't you just live a life which is less struggle you know you're a girl who's you can be you know there are alternatives and uh, to be honest I think uh, in a way um, people are coming from uh, some people are coming from a well-wishing place but then also at the same time a, a kind of a safe well-traveled path which you're expected to follow and um, I'm definitely not that person. <laughs> So I just knew from very early on that um, it was not for just uh, you get to where you need to be if uh, you're brave enough to take that leap. I've had deals where I have juggled it between full-time jobs and uh, between this. I um, I have I have tried to come to terms with a lot of things in terms of. Um, society and what people have to say and all of that I genuinely don't care about it but you know there are times when uh, you do need to give an answer back so all of those the fact that uh, I'm young the fact that I'm a woman that I don't look my part in terms of uh, the the ideal image of what a business person is supposed to look um, how you're supposed to go about approaching your business uh, or the strategies that you use um, have to be very traditional path or you know you're a woman and you probably don't make those kind of decisions and you know you're not capable of doing it I don't need to be um, looking a certain way to do what I do and um, honestly the reason why um, my brand or the many many wonderful brands that are run by women are the way they are or serve the purpose that they serve are because they are run by women who have been through a journey and um, I definitely uh, have been guilty for not speaking up sometimes but most of the times I do um, I'm learning to speak up as well I continue to face challenges every day to be honest because for me I, I don't think that something is a problem but uh, because I'm just doing it and for others it's 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 something that is uh, not thought of which which just fascinates me now honestly I don't even um, get bothered by it. like I said my inspiration definitely came I need to self-love self-heal and get um, get to know my body and uh, everything that came along with it and then to curate things which could then serve other people as well as well as to create that sort of awareness for everybody else and that still continues to inspire me every day.